from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Monday to rescue me from the weekend. <laughs> Sinful. <laughs> Let's get started. It's time for. Come on. weekend in Miami, and that means that DJ Booth was traveling again. So who did I call in to help us out today? Sus One. Whoa. Wendy, what's up? Hi, Sus. Power 1051, New York. Yes, yes, thank you for having me back. I appreciate you. Come here. Walk the runway. I want to see. I, I want to see it all. No, no, no. Forget the shoe cam. Just do the whole walk. I, shoe cam first. Oh, shoe cam first. Okay, fine. Oh. Uh -huh. I don't. I don't. I don't recognize. I don't. What is that sauce? Ferragamos. Of course they are. Ferragamo sweat. Okay, and I love your jacket. Come on out here. Let Thank me you. you. Shout out to my um, stylist, Looks by London. Okay. Gotta show them that. Is he the fashion show? <laughs> what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Thank you for having me back again. <laughs> wow. Ooh. What is that, velvet? The featured presentation. Yes. Yes. Ooh. All right. Okay. Don't look at me walk back. <laughs> oh. Please. Uh, where is Boof? Is he somewhere in the corner being jealous? <laughs> Hi, Boofy. You could come out I... too. Come out, Boof. Oh. Come out. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> So, the Super Bowl was last night and I was watching Sex and the City all day. Honestly, I didn't get to anything else. And I know, oh, the kitten bowl, of course. <laughs> yes, me and Chit Chat and my way, we watched the kitten bowl. I, I, they finally learned how to throw shade. Uh-huh. And so Chit Chat took over my, um, uh, your Instagram, my Instagram, and uh, <laughs> talk smack about we didn't know. Me and my sister didn't know what shade was until we met mom. <laughs> but now I think I have it. What do you think? And those of you who replied gave her like two thumbs up. And if you're wondering where my way was, is fully shady, you know, around the corner, up the stairs and whatever. Anyway, um, 
shady boots, right? Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> uh -huh. Anyway, I was watching Sex and the City all day. I'm like, I, I'm such a girl. I just didn't really, there's no reason to, but Demi Lovato did a great job with the national anthem. Uh-huh. So, and I thought her outfit was appropriate and the whole bit. A lot of people were saying, She's the next coming to Whitney Houston. Now, hold on you all. Uh, no you won't. She was good in her own space, but no you won't. And Beyonce and Jay-Z were getting um, slammed on social media for not standing up. They were with their girl, uh, their daughter, Ivy, and Thank you, TMZ Sports, for showing us the picture. Everyone was standing, like this is only a picture. Of course, Khaled's in it. <laughs> Why wouldn't he be? Um, but, but when they were performing, if you all saw the actual perform ends, people were standing up as the bombs burst in air. You know, you put a hand over your heart. I don't know about you, and our country might be in a bad way, but there's no place I'd rather live than America. <laughs> and some of the first songs I learned in my life, even as a little girl, America the Beautiful, Oh Say Can You See, and all that other stuff. Like my mom and dad, like, like trips would be to come to see the Statue of Liberty and the Empire State Building and in, in Philadelphia, that Liberty Bell and you know going to Washington and passing the White House and stuff like that. Like, you know what, Jay-Z and Beyonce, and, and Jay, you might be an NFL owner and I get that in respect, but you don't own all the NFL. Right. You own this much. And Beyonce, I love my <laughs> Ivy Park dress. I mean, uh, no, 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 no because I had no idea um, that Willie had a bunch of Ivy Park stuff up in wardrobe for a few weeks now. But, and so he puts it on me today. He's like, are you gonna talk about uh, Beyonce and Jay-Z? I said, yes. And he goes, we'll change the dress. I said, no. <laughs> I said, cause I've already put it on and I like the placement because Sasan is here. Jay-Z and Beyonce, you understand all eyes are on you and you should have stood up. If you don't like our country, then... <laughs> Anywho, let's move on. Okay, so I saw Demi Lovato and I was quickly placing my hair and trying to get to my social club where we were having a big party with um, chefs and, and good food and stuff. And we have a media room, so it's like a movie theater, um, but with no bed bugs and rats. Um, and so, so, so I go outside and it's snowing and raining at the same time. Remember yesterday in New York, if you're from here, it was snowing and raining, and I hail a cab. Dun, 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 da, 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 da. And I hail the cab, and I go to the social club, and I talk to Nortemund. 
as I'm on the way. And I say to him, oh my gosh, it's 7.45, am I missing? And so then you, anyway, when I got there, it was just in time for Shakira. Her hips don't lie, <laughs> okay? Now I walk in, right, all the media seats are taken up. I hear some how you doings and hey, Wendy, and I'm just like, look, leave me, <laughs> leave me alone. I'm here on business. And for a few, um, I wanted some sliders to eat, but sliders to go. And they had um, good... Let me tell you something about this weekend. Hold on, Shakira, look. <laughs> I went to this French restaurant, right? And it was me, Jason Lee, who's here later on with the inside scoop. <laughs> along with Gio Benitez. Do you know him from Good Morning America? Okay. And his husband, Tommy. They've been married for four years. No, 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 not all, not all. We had some good old side eye talk, at the, the four of us, right? And so I ordered, um, I had escargot, which, yes, Brendan, whose wife can't handle brown juice. No. <laughs> Brendan, let me tell you something about your girl. Yes. Okay, okay. So, uh, earlier in the weekend, I in, sorry, there's stories within stories. I told you this show is a sitcom, a movie, a romantic novel, and it's, it's... Um, I invited some senior people from around here to my apartment, which I don't normally do, like when I was in old life, you know, and I had a family way, it, it just wasn't, like really, get out. Don't even come in, don't even ask. But in new life, you know, Wendy in the city, you know, by myself, empty nester, things happen. So I wanna know how to keep this show going, cause it's our 11th season, but I, I <laughs> I want more, so I like to ask my people outside of here, cause it's, it's so studio and so work related. And I said, all right, maybe I'll take them out for dinner. I said, no, because then there might be some how you doing moments or like something weird going on in the restaurant. I said, all right, I'll invite them over to my bachelorette pad. <laughs> okay, it was me and five people who happened to be all women. Suzanne was one of them. Brendan, she got home early though. We were done by 7.30. She was home by like 9.30. By 9.30 she was home. Well, then it took her two hours too late. <laughs> she might have, she might have slid by. She a, a random way back Okay, to okay. Brendan? Yeah. You all? Let me tell you something. I had crudite and the chicken wings with the hair on them. You know where I get them from. <laughs> and, and, and my assistant, the chief, packed a bag of stuff, but in the bottom of the bag was a bottle of brown. <laughs> um, when the honey's in the system, what? <laughs> Pimp by blood, not relay, Sean. Come on now. Uh. <laughs> Suzanne never had brown. 
Mm. She also doesn't know how to pour. Brendan, you know your wife doesn't know how to pour? She does not, no. no. Okay, <laughs> the girls didn't want white wine. Immediately, because it was a hectic week at Wendy, as usual, yep. the girls come in, we're all like guys, right? All I want to do is take off my clothes, put on a robe, and, and then come back down and see the girls. Right. When I get downstairs, your wife busts open the bottle <laughs> of the brown. She found the glasses, and it wasn't two fingers. You know, a, a proper pour is two fingers, right? <laughs> Suzanne had four. <laughs> Then my manager, Bernie, had to come over because I had to uh, do a little bit of business with him. It like literally lasts for five seconds, like literally open the door, you know, sign a couple things and then send him on his way. Bernie calls the concierge, the concierge calls upstairs and I tell all the girls, I'm like, okay, everybody straighten up. Cause um, Bernie's here. You can either straighten up, I, Bernie knows me, so I, <laughs> I don't care, but if you all want to straighten up, fine. But Bernie's on his way up, and he's only gonna be at the front door. I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna go to the door, just everybody calm down, right? <laughs> By the time I hear, I have a doorbell, so ding and dong. Your wife, yeah. by the way, everybody's shoes are off. We're curled up in like a yoga stance on the couches, right? Chit Chat and My Way are upstairs saying, Mom's having company, sounds like she's having fun. <laughs> Let's stay up here until they leave, cause um, mm. So ding and dong. Suzanne springs off the couch, runs to the door, mind you, with a bottle of the brown in her hand, <laughs> and opens the door to Bernie, who, He's a man of a particular age. He's been around Brown all the way downtown. <laughs> Bernie came in and at one particular point he goes, I guess this makes me one of the girls. I said, yup. And, and we, anyway, it was, but your wife is not here today. Uh, that, no, she's not here today. What the hell is going on? Is she okay? I don't think the, uh... I don't think that Brown agreed with her. What can Brown do for you? Oh, well, that was a few days ago. Uh, exactly. I was up by eight o'clock in the morning She's the next day. She's still not well. She better learn to be a pro. She's not well. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm kind of delaying. I don't want to fight with you, but you fight with me all the time, and I don't care. I guess we're already fighting about the the uh, Beyonce beehive. Are we fighting already, Nortman? No, not yet, but maybe soon. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer won. You think so, over Shakira? Here's why. Okay. I have a couple of categories, all right? So I get to my social club and I'm watching and there were no seats and I'm standing up against the wall, literally standing with my bag in the crook, right? And, but I'm watching and Shakira, I dig her look and her moves better because she was born to do it, okay? <laughs> I liked her hair better because it was all, you know, like, like no hair spread, like just like, just like hair. And her makeup, it just like, I know she has makeup on, but it looks more natural. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, I, and I dig that in, I don't know, I think people wear too much makeup these days. And I think, and, and I'm out here in the streets now, and I, I know what guys like. And then the stage lit on fire and they passed her around in the crowd. I was gasping. I almost choked on a mini burger. <laughs> I, 
Oh my gosh, how talented. And she's doing it and she looks natural and this is what guys like. <laughs> However, when you hit the stage with, we might not want to wear it, but a little more makeup and a little more glossy hair, and then you hit that song. You know my song is waiting for tonight. <laughs> Let me tell you something. She did, uh-huh, and let her, come on now. Come on, you know this is as, uh, as a, who's our makeup friend, Gourjois? She's uh, coming here. Uh, Millie, I mean, not Millie. Um, oh. Mally, Mally Roncal oh. would say, Gourjois. <laughs> She'll be here, I think, uh, this week or something. Hi, Mally. Anyway, when you hit Waiting for Tonight, I've loved that song since it came out. I've loved that song since the shrimp fell on the floor at the wedding for um, Will and Grace. I, I, and, and then she does it, she grasped that pole with her thighs and s slid down. In all, oh, 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 excuse me. And then she brings out her daughter, Emmy. I don't know about you. Norman, I caught a tear. Me too. You did? I did. It was like, it was this, it was the daughter, and it was all the other little Latina girls singing Born in the USA. Yes! They were all in cages in a political This statement. is what Beyonce and Jay-Z and Blue Ivy don't understand. Yeah. Be proud. <laughs> Bitter Norman, you caught a tear? I did, and my soul is made of steel, but we know. I did, <laughs> I caught a tear. It was just a lot going on and they were so good and then she was pole dancing. And <laughs> so good. So who won? Uh, I'm gonna say Jennifer Lopez. Yeah, sorry. But they were both really good. They were both really good. And then I'm sitting there like right after halftime show, I'm like, okay, I'm going back home because I have to be here with you today. And I'm sitting in the social club and I, you know, cause I love art. I love to paint. I, I appreciate art, the stupidest stuff, the big stuff and in between. And I'm sitting and I'm, we're, I'm having a face off with Norman, like who did it best at the <laughs> halftime. Right. And I said, shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the art I'm sitting in front of. And I sent you the picture yeah. of, oh, cinder blocks <laughs> painted in um, Neo Glow. Is that art? <laughs> Let me tell you something, you all. If you're thinking about restyling your place, just understand, this is at the club. The, look, look, Rambo, I, am, I lied to you, not Rambo. You see it right here. One, two, three, four, five. John Anderson could get me five cinder blocks and I could spray paint them and call them art and sell them for millions. Wait, no! Before we say no, wait, I had that, uh, that thing of that kid. Uh, yes, okay, no, no, there's a lot going on in the prompter. All right, now look, all right. Well, I had more for you all, but apparently Hot Topics is over. Up next. My friend Jason Lee and his messy mouth are here. Both of them, the messy mouth and Jason. We're gonna talk about Terry Crews and Gabrielle Union. So, grab a snack and come on back.
Oh, okay. <laughs> it's time for the inside scoop. And here with the dish is the CEO of Hollywood Unlocked, my friend. Some people don't like you. A lot of people. <laughs> no, no, a lot of people don't like me, but the truth hurts, right? Jason Lee. Jason Lee, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Jason, I feel that people don't like you because, like me, you speak your truth and that's that. Yeah. And, but you also socialize. See, I speak my truth and then I leave the show, I go in the house, I slam the door. <laughs> but you socialize. What's your, give me something stirring in your beef pot right now, just. Well, I mean, really quick, we launched a show called Problematic on YouTube, and I responded... <laughs> I responded... I responded to Kevin Hart. He had come on the Hollywood Unlocked Instagram and criticized the post we did, so oh, I called gosh. my team and said, come to the house, get the cameras. We did a six-minute video, and he wasn't really happy, but he called me, and we had an interesting conversation. What did you call him out about? Well, I just said that I think that A-list black celebrities forget black journalists when they get it, when they get famous, <laughs> and that... You know, he should show more support to, uh, to people like me and you. And I said, come on the show. He still hasn't come on the show. Do yet. you know his wife? I don't know his new wife. I know his ex-wife. Do you, well, continue. <laughs> no, well, I had her on the show, my podcast, Hollywood Unlocked Uncensored, and I had asked her, you know, um, I had asked her if, uh, she, if she met the new wife, uh, if she met the new wife before the new wife met her kids, and she Messy said no. Jason. That's not messy, that's just something, I mean, most women would want to meet the woman that's gonna be around their children. Continue. And so, he didn't like that. What can I say? Did he come see you? No, he hasn't pulled up yet. He did call me on the phone, though. We had a 30-minute conversation, so, I mean, listen, I don't want no beef with Kevin Hart, but I'm gonna continue to tell the truth. If it pisses everybody off, I got my uh, ticket to heaven already and I ain't tripping. <laughs> okay, Terry Crews and Gabrielle Union are going through something. Yes, <laughs> okay, so Gabrielle Union was recently fired from America's Got Talent after she claimed that producers had her working in a toxic and racist work environment. And so Terry Crews, I don't know if you watched uh, Everybody Hates Chris? Yeah. Well, well, everybody hates Terry now because... <laughs> Um, the host of America's Got Talent was just asked about Gabrielle's comment, uh, Gabrielle's claims on the Today Show last week, and he didn't have her back and said, in fact, he said he's never experienced a toxic culture. Uh, take a look. First of all, I can't speak for sexism, because I'm not a woman, but I can't speak on behalf of any racism comments. That was never my experience on America's Got Talent. In fact, it was the most diverse place I have ever been in my 20 years of entertainment. Now, now, people slammed Terry and say that he was a coon for selling out Gabrielle Union. A what? I didn't say that. That's what I the haven't heard said. that word since the 19 before I was born. Oh, he was. <laughs> Listen, I didn't hear. I, I call him a company man. Yeah. A company man is somebody who goes along to gets along and really does not have a voice for anything but just collect the check and. Mm. But see, but see, but see, that's what happens. They go along and to get along until people like you and I catch them, and then they do what everybody does. They go to Twitter and apologize. That's why you're here, go. So he said, I want to apologize for the comments I made. I realize there are a lot of black women you hurt. You called him a coon. <laughs> no, I didn't call him a coon. They called him a coon. <laughs> Anyway, uh, there are a lot of black women hurt and let down by what I said and also by what I didn't say. Gabrielle, I want you to know it was never my intention to invalidate your experience, but that is what I did. I apologize. I mean, he was in the movie White Chick, so I don't know if he knows disrespecting black women is wrong. I like Terry Crews, but I like Terry Crews for exactly who he is. He's like the funny guy. He's not ever going to have a real opinion. I see you in the second row, the white lady right, th right there with the black and the V-neck. You, right there. <laughs> you, you're looking up, now you're looking down. <laughs> Next to her. <laughs> you with the yep in the in face, right? He's like a nice guy and sometimes you know people like that and they're nice to know, but you can never go to them for a formal opinion. 
Terry is that kind of guy, and he loves his wife, and he loves his kids. He's probably happy to be off the 50-yard touchdown line <laughs> and just be a broadcaster. And he's made a really good career. So he doesn't need to get involved with the messiness of today's life. However, we all have to become involved in order to have some sort of thing. He's just so vanilla, he's like, mm. Well. So, Gabrielle, did she dig in that ass? Yeah. <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> no, no, no. Gabrielle, Gabrielle has not responded, but her husband Dwayne Wade did, and he said, someone please take Terry Crews' phone. So, <laughs> it, seems, it seems like they're not accepting her apolo his apology. What do you think? Well, Brenda just gave me the 30-second mark, so I don't really have time for my opinion. All I'm gonna say is, lunch was lovely. Lunch was great. I love Gio and Tommy. Yes. And I love your dirty, filthy showbiz stories behind the scenes. And, and, <laughs> thank you for being here. You know what, Jason has a gift for everybody. Jason's new book is out. Studio audience, you're all going home with a copy. But you know what? Oh, gosh. Okay, I found uh, several things that I really love. It's time for Trendy at Wendy. Please welcome back to our show, Ashley Glazer. Thank you. Ashley, Ashley, Ashley. Come along. Yes, Rue La has so many good things for us today. So excited. Starting off with the Cuisinart Stan Mixer. This is a formal, proper, very grown-up, mature kitchen mixer. That will look really <laughs> glamorous on your counter. Yes. It retails for $320. Very glamorous, very expensive. You can make muffins, you can make bread, it comes with the chef's Pancakes. Whisk, the dough, you can make anything that you want. I'm giving this to my brother, he's about to get married. His future wife's gonna be very excited. Okay. Yes, okay, and it retails, like Wendy said, for $320. We are getting it 59% off at $129.99 for season art. A steal, a steal. Cuisinart's like one of the best brands. Okay, these are the ones. I know you're excited about these. Uh, excuse me, and well, there's two. Att attention, Wendy you staff. Can share. I want all four. So they're Arctic. No This lie. is from Arctic Sleep. They're no super lie. cooling gel fiber pillows. So they're made uh -huh. with gel fibers and polyester, and they're very, they're actually cold to the touch. You can feel them. But you you're know You're getting what? two in the set. If you sleep like I do, then you bunch your pillow. Yeah, you so can. sometimes when the pillows are a little hard, you can't bunch. You can't bunch them. I bunch like a baby. Very comfortable, uh -huh. flexible, and they'll keep mm. you cool throughout the night and very but relaxed. But they're really expensive for retail, <laughs> $175. However, we're getting them 80% off at just $34.99 for two. <laughs> I love it when we have Sunnies. These are Ray-Ban, one of my most favorite brands, so classic. Not my favorite shape, but I'm just modeling them for you. They look good on you, yeah, they look I, cool. I, no, they're too no, they look cool. They look very cool. They're the oval shape, they have this you really like cool. These. I'm like the only person on the face of the earth who does not like this shape. I just, they're, they're so cool that it's like They're very cool, hard you're very much. classic, but I think they're very cool. There's something for everyone, and it's fun to try out the new trends, especially when Rula gives them to us. We have this beautiful mm -hmm. matte gold frame and the different colors you can choose from. They retail between $143 and $168. We're getting them 52% off at $79.99. <laughs> <laughs> do I smell diamonds? You absolutely do. This is from Ariana Rabani. They are 14 karat gold and diamond initial necklaces. So you can choose from white gold, rose gold, and yellow gold. 14 karat. From A to Z. Yes, and we have a little W here just for you. Oh, here's yes, mine. Yes, they're custom. You can okay. get to pick. They're the perfect gift. They gave me an A. I'm so when excited because it's real show, diamonds. Honey. When you get to get on a talk show, I guess you get one too. So thanks, Rulala. <laughs> they retail for $783, real diamonds, real gold, 57% off for us at $329.99. Oh, okay, let's go. Oh, 
More diamonds? More diamonds. And a watch? Yes, this is from GV2. It's the Marsala Whoa, Chronograph Diamond show. Swiss You're gonna Quartz be just like Watch. This. <laughs> Take them all. You have eight different colors to now choose here. from. I'm not There's from a the sapphire hood, crystal. <laughs> Oh my God. Well, you can have them all. You guys get to choose one, but you can pick from this beautiful variety. There's a oh sapphire God. crystal, diamonds on the bezel, all the different metals. Wendy, you can, you're stacking up. And then you can put them in Wait, your suitcase. How much do they charge? Sorry, I got so excited. They're $2,395. Okay, now. We're getting now. it 91% off at $199.99. <laughs> so you really can get eight of them. Okay. And then put them in your suitcase. And then you could travel to Dubai. Oh, I like this color the best. I love these. These this are from is my Kenzie. favorite. These are diamond luggage sets. So look at this unique shape, the four wheel spinner system. They're cut out like diamonds. Cut look out like diamonds. Shapes. I was just traveling, literally everyone in the airport is the exact same suitcase. This is so different. You get the carry-on oh, and unique. the proper full size. Look at all the compartments. The retail price is incredible. We, they retail for $400 for the set. We're getting it 75% off at $99.99. Oh, that was saying. Ashley Glazer, thank you so much. Rue -la, la we love you. For these deals, go to wendyshow.com before they sell out. This is the good stuff, you all. Ask Ooh. Wendy is next. Time for Ask Wendy. Oh wait, no, but you. You, you? Yes. How you doing? How you doing? What's your name, where you from, what do you do? Maria, I'm um, from DC and I'm an administrative Woo! coordinator. Okay. Yeah. Well, how can I help you, Maria? Okay, so I have a 21 year old daughter. She's uh -oh. absolutely gorgeous. Okay. She's spoiled rotten. Okay. So she uh, did not graduate from college, so she's back at home right now. Okay. And she's living her best life because she has these, what I call sponsors. These are these male friends. They come and they take her out. They buy her things. I love her. a sponsor, but I'm grown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my question is, what can I do to help her real to understand that this is not going to continue? That Pick her out? Because <laughs> Maria, you know, honestly, like, moms should not have to see this. Yeah. And back when we were young, our moms didn't. Did your mom see that in you? No, absolutely I, not. My mom and dad never saw anything filthy in me until I got this damn show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Like, honestly, I was always a respectful daughter. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want to see it, the best you can tell her mm -hmm. is by July 1st. Okay she better be out with her own apartment. Ooh, okay. Maybe you give her the first, okay. not the last, <laughs> but maybe the first in security. Okay, all right. You know what I'm all saying? Right. All right. So then that way you don't have to see it because she's going to do what she wants to do. Yeah, that's what she's doing. You're, you're busy. Is, the, is, your, is her dad in the house? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, he's there too. What's he say? Well, he's dad he sit around while a daughter has a sponsor? Yeah. <laughs> he's not throwing bows? No, he's not. He's not. I mean, he just goes with it as well. You know, he's okay with it, I guess. Yeah. We, we, want, we want her to get out and get a job and everything. But right now, she's got she's these friends, these sponsors. 1st. that. No, today's February 3rd. 3rd, yep. Okay. She's got until July 3rd. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, no, for real. Cause she's gonna be who she is, but she can't disrespect you and her dad. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, thank you. <laughs> okay, come here, <laughs> come here. When the doors opened, I noticed you immediately. Thank you. Okay, I'm seeing it up close. The Montclair, the Givenchy, Givenchy. Who are you? My name's James. Hi, J oh, mm, James. <laughs> How you doing, Wendy? How you doing, James? Where are you from? What do you do? I'm from Tampa, Florida, but I live in Brooklyn. And that, do you have a, 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 a are you a boot up? Yes, I do. I have a boyfriend. He got a dog camera for Christmas and he uses it to check on the dogs while we're at work. Oh wait, is that what we're talking about? Yes. <laughs> okay, oh God, okay, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Now he uses the dog camera to check up on me while I'm at home. 
even if he's in the bedroom, he'll use it to see what I'm doing in the living room. He's like, are you eating ice cream right now? <laughs> is it wrong to want a little bit of privacy? What is he, uh, a food Nazi? <laughs> <laughs> a diet Nazi. Um, yeah, it's wrong to check up. You know what, the funny thing, because when I had the girls over, they were like, why don't you have indoor cameras? I said, because one day they'll turn on me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh-huh, and you'll see more than I care for. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what, if he has those cameras and he insists, just put an old piece of masking tape up there <laughs> and have the time of your life. Or have the conversation with him that this is not right. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Everything you love about Wendy is uh, at wendyshow.com. It's all available, the hot topics, the gossip, the celebrity interviews. It's only at wendyshow.com. See it first, see it now, only at... Wendyshow.com. Wendyshow.com. We'll be right back. <laughs> we got DJ Sus One. We're in New York City. If you're ever in New York, all I'm saying is beside the bullets and the economy and the lawlessness and the rats and um, <laughs> the killings, just duck your head. Come to Chelsea and check us out. The, the tickets are free. Go to wendyshow.com. It's a good time. We'll be right back. Oh. Sus one. Thank you. <laughs> Cheryl Hines tomorrow. I love you for watching today. And I'll see you next time on Wendy. Bye-bye. <laughs> Nice.